What's up guys, this is Sunny. Back with another video. Today we have one more product from Ingenious. We have here Ingenious Fit uh, Wi-Fi 6 indoor wireless access point here. And I wanna see how well this access point work. Like I don't wanna compare this access point with uh, the one I tested in past, but I, I just wanna see how well this one perform. Now, you guys might be thinking, what the hell is access point? You Basically what you can do, you can run uh, one of these access point to your living room, your bedroom, and you can set up like new Wi-Fi, you can set up like uh, new uh, Wi-Fi for guest, and you can control with your app. So these access points are really useful. Uh, especially these access points are really useful for business, like restaurant, office. Now today real quick, I'll do a quick unboxing for you guys and show you guys what this access point comes with and after that we will install their uh, app and we'll configure and see you know what type of setting this uh, access point um, got. So let's jump in. Let me do a quick unboxing for you guys so I can show you guys what this access point comes with. Now as far as I know this access point doesn't come with a um, power adapter so most likely you have to buy a power adapter or you can use one of these uh, PoE adapter right here. All right, so we have the access point right here, all white. Uh, okay, up top we have uh, power LED uh, and we have uh, LAN LED. We have 2.4 uh, gig LED and a 5 gig LED right here. In the back we have reset, uh, button right here. Then we have a uh, uh, 2.5 gig uh, LAN port here uh, that support PoE. And then we have a uh, power adapter connection here, but this um, access point doesn't come with a power adapter. Let me see what else this access point comes with. Wall mount right here and some screws. That's about it. This access point is not actually all that big. Uh, the length is around uh, 205 millimeter. The width is around 205 millimeter. And the height is around 33 millimeter. So it's not all that big. And also the weight is around 1.8 pounds. So it's not even all that heavy. So real quick, let me just plug this uh, access point, okay, to my network. And then we can configure all right, as you guys can see, I did connect the ingenious access point to my PoE right here, also ingenious. And you can see here, there is a ethernet cable coming from my router to the LAN port. And also there is a uh, ethernet cable going out from the PoE port to the uh, ingenious access point. Let me show you real quick. You can see right here to uh, the 2.5 gig LAN, LAN port here, also support PoE. So if you use the uh, PoE uh, adapter here, then you don't have to use a, a power adapter for this access point. And that's how uh, basically, uh, you know, most of the business and uh, office you know, everyone will use with the PoE because when you have a power adapter with the access point, uh, you know, it's kind of messy and you have to run a power outlet. So what they basically do, they get a PoE switch with, you know, maybe like uh, 10, uh, you know, PoE Ethernet port, and then they run multiple access point from the uh, switch. All right, now let me download their app so I can show you guys how to, uh, configure these uh, ingenious access point. All right, so I just downloaded ingenious Fit Express app. So first thing what you need to do, you basically need to uh, create an account. So I already created my account. So let me log in real quick. And now uh, let's set up a new network. Next, 
basically showing you know how you should connect the access point to your network next and now i need to scan the qr code behind the access point now if you have issue scanning the qr code just enter the serial number manually so let me just enter the serial number network site name i'll just type here living room okay um currently and the time zone is good so create now let's jump into manage the network okay you guys can see uh, okay device is fun and under my network now i have one access point here you can see here own networks living room so let's just tap on that all right so here you guys can see dashboard we have a zero switch we have one access point okay to wi-fi uh, at the bottom we have dashboard device clients wi-fi and wired so let's see what we have under device we have one access point okay client wi-fi so we have two wi-fi right here we have one for the guest one for the staff so let's just go to the guest one and let's just turn this one off because anyone can access this right now because there is no password set and let's save that okay and now go to fit staff wi-fi and we can set a password okay so let's just set like an easy password okay now save okay so now let me go to my setting real quick wi-fi settings okay we have i don't know why uh fit guest is showing but uh let's go to fit um staff wi-fi let's see the speed test real quick All right, so I basically have uh, 300 MB down and 100 MB up. So you guys can see I'm getting the full speed from this access point. Yeah, I don't really get like um, 100 Mbps up most of the time, so that's okay. All right, so the access point is working perfectly fine. Okay. What else we have here? Word, okay. On the left side, living room. Okay, basically showing my X point here. All right guys, so here is my thoughts. I personally think Ingenious Fit Wi-Fi 6 indoor wireless access point is pretty good for the money. This thing goes for $149. It's not really hard to configure. Basically, you just have to uh, connect this to a power adapter or a PoE, and that's that's about it. If you have a PoE, then you don't have to worry about like you know installing uh, this uh, access point, and then get a outlet and connect the power adapter with this um, cable. You know, with this Ethernet cable, you can run this access point okay if you have a poe switch or the poe uh, adapter i have right here okay if you have a bigger house and you have a you know wi-fi router uh, maybe you know 
far from your living room or your bedroom and you are getting bad signal i think this access point is pretty good you can uh, you know uh, install this access point on this uh, you know like ceiling the wall and then you can configure uh, the wi-fi for your guest for yourself for your kid and you can turn your wi-fi off whenever you want and the signal will be pretty good all right that should be it guys if you guys have any question leave your question in the uh, comment section i'll be more than happy to answer you guys and if you guys do like my video don't forget to like and subscribe and see you guys next one